Hey there, this is Patrick Evans Hilton with VirginiaEatsAndDrinks.com. I'm also the culinary advisor for Norfolk Fest events, and today's video is part of FETV. That's the uh, online component of Fest events that has all kinds of great videos and things to enjoy at, while you're at home. And we're going to be celebrating today the Harbor Fest, which is in its 45th year. Well, this year it is actually virtual because of coronavirus, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate all the wonderful rich maritime history of coastal Virginia and so we're going to raise a glass to Harbor Fest and to the wonderful history here in our region by making a traditional cocktail called grog. I actually named mine uh, Norfolk Sea Dog Grog that pays a homage to the large presence of the Navy that's here sometimes they're called sea dogs. In the blog post below you're going to find out a little bit about why they're called sea dogs, a little bit about the history of the grog, as well as the recipe for the cocktail that we're making today. So if you're having a family gathering, uh, you know, anytime over the next couple of days or anytime over the summer, you can make this and enjoy it outside on your outdoor patio along with a couple of other dishes. We've got more videos that promote uh, fest events, uh, the Hopper Fest, along with, um, along with FETV, and we're doing a, a classic crab dip. You can see the video there. And we also have a recipe for a fried oyster po' boy too, which I think this drink would be perfect with. So why don't we go ahead and get started. I've already got a shaker with some ice in it. And I'm going to add to that some dark rum. And so this is four farthing spiced rum. I actually developed this based on historic information and documents that were present uh, from, you know, the 1600s, 1700s, all the ships that were coming in from the Caribbean. We had a large Caribbean connection here uh, in coastal Virginia. And so I looked at some of those ingredients and I crafted this and we're doing it in a conjunction with my friends at Chesapeake Bay Distillery. They're located in the Vibe District in Virginia Beach. So you can go and purchase this rum there, or you can use any dark rum, but don't use one that's overly sweet or overly spiced though. We're gonna add that. We also have some white rum, and this also comes from our friends at Chesapeake Bay Distillery. This is Chick's Beach Rum. We wanna sweeten everything up, so I made a honey simple syrup, and it is very simple. It's just one part honey, one part water. You bring it to a boil, you let it, uh, you stir it, you let it reduce a little bit, and then you chill it, and then you have this wonderful syrup that can flavor things instead of putting sugar in and hoping that it dissolves when you stir it up. So we're gonna add that honey simple syrup. And then we also, because grog was one of those things that was supposed to be served out at sea and help prevent scurvy, so we got some fresh lime juice. You know, we don't have to worry about scurvy today, so we're very lucky from that standpoint. I'm gonna put the cap on here, and then I'm gonna shake it up. And every time I shake a cocktail, I always wonder, WWDSD, and that's what would Donna Summer do? And I think that she would love the night live. She loved the boogie on the disco round. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. And we're going to pour our grog in here. This recipe goes back, you know, is inspired by recipes that go back hundreds of years, 400 years or more. We're going to strain this into a glass that I've already garnished with a little bit of lime because, again, we want to make sure that we keep the scurvy at bay. And I'll set that over there. And then look at that. It's a beautiful color. It's nice, crisp, refreshing, light. It does pack a punch, though. Mmm. So be sure to enjoy safely. But speaking of safety, again, you're not going to get any kind of scurvy. So our Norfolk Sea Dog Grog, in honor of Norfolk Fest events, 45th year here, virtual, virtual this year because of due to coronavirus. Look for information on festevents.org for this and more of their wonderful programming. Also check out my website, virginiaeasanddrinks.com for all the information that you need for today's cocktail. And be sure to join all the fun on our Facebook group, which is very interactive at facebook.com slash group slash Virginia Eats and Drinks. And arr, cheers to you.